just been listening to the 19 hours news where journalists asked the president as he was coming back from the Europe on two issues. One, about the storming of former president Edgar Lungu's house by a battalion of police officers. And the answer that the president gave is extremely disappointing. I am extremely disappointed because we expect the president to be above board. We don't expect the president to cross over important issues. When the journalists ask about the storming of the former president's house by the police, he said, and I quote, there is nothing wrong. When any person reports somebody to the police, the police have the right to go to that person's house. I totally agree with him. I totally agree with him that there's nobody who is above the law. But does it need a battalion of police officers? And the president goes to say, I was not involved. I don't know anything. That is a pure police operation. Mr. President, for once, learn to tell the truth. I have been in government myself at very senior ministries. I was Minister of Foreign Affairs, I was Minister of Labor, and I was Minister of Information and Broadcasting. There is no way, countrymen and women, no way that police can plan a raid or indeed an operation at the former president's house without the sitting president knowing. Then the sitting president is not in charge. Then all security wings have stopped functioning. The president, mind you, is the commander-in-chief of all armed forces, including the police. And from my knowledge, every morning, first thing in the morning, the director general of the intelligence, the OP, the so-called OP, is the first person that interacts with the president at his office. When the president just gets to the office, the first person who the president interacts with is the director general of the intelligence, popularly known as the office of the president, the OP. The OP will detail the president about what happened the previous day and what is going to happen during the day in terms of all operations. And issue concerning the former head of state is a priority. If the OP, Director General, did not inform the, the President he should be fired. But I know for sure that the Director General did inform the police, did inform the President. I know for sure. Because if he didn't do that, it's one reason for him to be fired. Now the question is, what happened that day? Is it normal, people of Zambia? Some of you are saying, yes, it is normal because it also happened to HH when he was opposition leader. The police stormed his house at night, a battalion of police officers. And if you remember very well, if you remember very well what President HH said and complained, was that I'm not a criminal. They should have just sent a call out if they wanted me, and we could have complied to go to the police for questioning. What has changed today? My dear brother, President Hagainde Ijilema, what has changed today that you can, your government can send a battalion of police officers to go and look for a Ranex, a Kanta, and an Alex vehicle at the residence of the former head of state? Immunity assigned. Immunity assigned that the former president enjoys. Really, if, for instance, there was a word that Chishimba Kambudi has got two or three alleged stolen vehicles at his house, what we see is, tomorrow if you have a five, there's a family that's five, there's a whatever vehicle they, were, they are looking for, or whatever things they have come to look for. To get a battalion of police officers to go to the former head of state's house 
even attempting using a grinder to cut the gate to gain access. And the president says, there's nothing wrong with it. Police have a right. No, Mr. President, police don't have a right to go a battalion and cause commotion on an issue that they can easily summon the former head of state or indeed the spouse. Mrs. Lungu, there's this allegation that, uh, you know, these vehicles which do not belong to you are in your possession. Can we have those vehicles brought to the police station and then you bring the papers and show proof whether these are your vehicles or indeed they were stolen? I don't think Mrs. or Dr. Edgar Chagalungu would refuse to comply. But to go and send a battalion of police hammered vehicles a grinder to go and cut the gate of the former head of But the most disappointing aspect is that the president can, can come and say it is a purely police operation which has nothing to do. If I were president, the OP comes to tell me there will be this operation at the former president's house, Mr. Haralinde Ichilem, I'll tell them you can't do that. Have respect for the former head of state. Why can't you send him a call out? Or indeed just send two police officers, plain police officers, to go and inquire into these uh, allegations. But for the president to allow the police with full knowledge, and I'm saying with full knowledge because I've been in government. I have been there before when President Sata was getting briefs from the OP. And I am speaking from experience. People must not be cheated. People must not be lied to. People must not be deceived that the president doesn't know what, even when they are coming to arrest Chishimba Kamwidi, countrymen and women, the president is fully briefed. So when you see police officers at Chishimba Kamwidi's house, the president has already been briefed that at 10 o'clock there will be this operation at Kamwidi's house. So for the president to want to say he doesn't know anything, it leaves much to be desired. And Mr. President, with due respect, Stop this. But President Naimwe Mukababa, ex president, surely would you want Bamutinta to be treated in that manner? A battalion of police officers to be sent to your residence, the community house, after you leave office to come and search for one or two things just because there is a report. However, HH, it's not correct. But HH Namu Papata. Praise singers will forever be there. But I can tell you, my brother, these praise singers are the first ones to jump ship. An example is this Tabo Kawana. Tabo Kawana, we can show you videos. We have videos here of how he used to praise President Edgar Lungu and the PF. Going around all radio stations. The, the last one I was listening today about Tabo Kawana, I was even saying, if you UPND think that uh, uh, PF is losing, we are going to win and we shall win big. We have been winning you. And what, do you, what, what makes you think that this time you are going to win? Tabo Kawana. Today look at Tabo Kawana. When he's speaking about you, <laughs> you'd think he has never been in PF. And people like Tabo Kawana, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something for nothing. They don't want to be in the opposition. Tabo Kawana was in MMD. When MMD lost, he jumped to PF. Started defending PF. Attacking UPND. Today PF has lost power. Is in UPND. Praising you. Attacking PF. Don't believe in such people. They will forever belong to the governments that will come because that is how they are. That's their nature. Even you. The same thing is saying about PF and President Ed Galungu. He will come and say it against you. I swear. So be careful with praising us. That's how they survive. So when you hear praise singers saying, Chilife we know, when people are saying this is not correct, please learn from those who are genuinely giving you advice. I think you owe the country an apology, Mr. President, to say that that's purely police. Was I there? There's somebody who went to report. Yes, we are not refusing that. There's a complainant, the complainant obviously. But should police conduct themselves the way they conducted themselves that day? Should police go to an extent of wanting to cut 
the gate using grinder. Mwe ma mwini nani. Alana imo ba wakana mbaba nduwa HH. One day, one day, you will be former head of state. Would you want to be treated the way President Edgar Mungu is being treated? Obviously the answer is no. Now, if you don't want to be treated like that, the Bible says, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. And people will respect you more. And please, when you are talking to the people of Zambia, don't think that people don't think. Or don't take it that people don't think. Alababa na Zambia mule mwona wa HH. Na ba UPND. La chari alaba ntu mwona mwona. Ba mwona siye fin file chiti kabale ya bale ibuela mwona bale karipila kose. And they'll keep it inside. Nga mwona ya sila fine pa university ba isaba iche. Imuwa tinaba mutemo. I can tell you. Even wa president yet ganunga bantu wale wa kongu. Chale diwa. Fulu wa bantu. But what? came out of the general elections was something different. Tamen so ya wan tu. Tape mankala. So, pamku miyamu vio. Tape mankala maikulia. I am giving you this advice, my brother, in earnest. Stop persecuting your predecessor. Stop persecuting what happened that day with the police is pure persecution of the head, former head of state. Nothing else. There is no explanation to that. There is no explanation. Look at the Americans. Trump has been charged and taken to court. Did you see a battalion of police officers being sent to Trump's house to go and arrest him, to take him to court, to go and answer to the charges that he's answering in court? Why can't we learn? This is a civilized nation. This is a civilized era. Let's stop this archaic, old-fashioned way of conducting politics. It's not building anybody. It's only destroying our country and exposing us to ridicule. Exposing us to ridicule. And don't think because the people of Zambia are quiet, a few of us can speak like this, that they are happy. Mudi seka seka. Mufumari Larila. But President, stop misleading the people of Zambia that you didn't know it was purely a police uh, operation. You had the power to stop it. You had the power to advise. Your Minister of Home Affairs, immediately you got the, 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 the briefing from the OP, you should have lifted and said, Jack Mwimbo, Munina, if you say, 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 Jack Mwimbo, but you allowed it. I'm speaking from experience. There is no way, there is no way. Nish Munina ne President Hakainde Ichilema system yali should break down if you can say that you were not aware that the police were going to act the way they acted. Because those police officers were at President Edgar Nungu's house as early as five o'clock. And I know that if there is such an operation, you were briefed previous day. Previous day you were briefed to say there was going to be this operation. In future, stop it. Don't allow that. You'll be, you'll be more respected, Mr. President. Because mind you, political power is very temporary. You'll be former president. And in that office, But when you lose power, have you seen some people who are working with President Ed Galungu, associating with him today? Some of them have run away from him. Did you see people who are working with him? with the uh, uh, president, former president Lupia Bani. People ran away from There are very few like Jere. Jere, what's, 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 what's his name? The one who was his uh, 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 aide for press. There are very few like Jere who remained with President Banda until his death. Even in his death, he speaks good about President uh, 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 Lupia Banda. There are very few. Very few. Most of them, they will come, milk you, make money, do deals using your name and wrongly advise you. When you are out of that office, they will run away from you and start giving information against you. Secondly, this issue of withdrawing police, again, Mr. President, why, my brother, 
Why? Even going to an extent of telling lies that there are 13 officers instead of three. Yes, the law provides that a former president will have three police officers attached to his residence. But you know, as much as I know, that the seven, because there are seven police officers and not 13, the seven police officers who are attached to President Edgar Longo's uh, residence, former President Edgar Longo, there is a history to that. And again, there is no way, there is no way the police can add extra police officers to President Edgar Longo's house without you being told as sitting president. Then the system was corrupted. When there was a breaking at President Edgar Longo's house, the TV was stolen. There was communication from government that we are going to give extra police officers. We are going to beef up extra police officers at the residence of the former president to enhance his security. There was also an issue of the location where President Edgar Longo's house is allocated, that it was not a very uh, 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 safe place. It was a risky place in terms of uh, uh, criminality. And that is why there was a decision to increase the police officers from three to seven. With your full knowledge, Mr. President, with your full knowledge, like I've said, there is no way anything that is happening to the former president, anything, security, etc., etc., you are supposed to be informed and you give a go ahead. Even when they were increasing the number, but today you were saying, you know that the law provides for only three police officers. You are pretending as if you don't know that there were these compelling circumstances that made to increase the number from three to seven. I want to ask you, Mr. President, where did you get the number 13? Please, let us not sex up things to arouse or arouse the emotions of the Zambian people. The increase of the security officers from three to seven was with your full knowledge. So for you at the airport today to be saying he's only entitled to three, so there's an abuse of the law, abuse of the constitution. Come on, my brother. Let us keep our integrity and tell the truth. Immediately in Sungusha, want to wabu few you, wabu few you. Whatever Ukalala and Dabakalatila from Ninane, Mueva Ninane, Mueva Lesunga President, Nam Papata, I plead with you people who are advisors to the President to tell the President the truth. Don't mislead him. And when you feel the President has gone off track, it is only reasonable to whisper to him that Mr. President, our Palafila Machilanda, tells you the correct situation is this. How can the President to say it was an abuse? of the constitution, it was the abuse by having more than three police officers. When secretary to the cabinet is the supervising authority of the office of the former president, and whatever happens, the secretary to the cabinet informs the president. And when the police are making that change, that is why you have a deputy inspector of police based at State House, he will inform you there is this need to beef up police officers at the former president's house. Even when they wrote this message for withdrawal of all these officers, where now you can even have, you know, you always differ in the way you give them your statements. Your Minister of Home Affairs said, no, the police, President Ed Galungu, still have his security. Nobody has been removed. Then the spokesperson of the police says, no, those who have been removed have been redeployed to other areas. The message is very clear. Let me read the message that was sent. The message said, originator PUHQ 3S221 of 10.05.2023, XX, be informed that the command has directed withdrawal of all officers, thank you men and women, of all officers attached to the residence of Mr. Eddie Gachagwalungu, former president of the Republic of Zambia, with immediate effect. This statement does not talk about 
redeploying those others and re replacing them with others. And the number is clear here, seven officers. Number one, Mr. Mondoka, Assistant Superintendent. Number two, Mr. Piri James, Assistant Superintendent. Number three, Woman Constable, Kafula Agnes, Inspector Lupara, Lupaula Addison, Inspector Muyandi Dala, Inspector Kaseba Daniel, and Sergeant Kashimoto. Seven officers. But today the president was telling us at the airport, there are 13. This is an abuse of the law. It's an abuse of the constitution. Insoni Ebuntu. Insoni Ebuntu. The message is very clear. Withdraw all officers with immediate effect. And by the way, if the <laughs> spokesperson of the police is saying, no, those were withdrawn and others will be taken there, it is irregular. You see, you cannot take any police officers to the house of the former president. It must be consulted. When PF was giving Mr. Lungu, I mean President uh, Rupia Banda, they had to ask him, which police officers are you comfortable with? Because there are these issues of assassinations, there are these issues of spying, there are these issues of not being comfortable with certain officers. Probably you may give the president an officer who he may have had a problem with. So they ask, he has a choice to recommend that I would rather work with this one, this one, and this one. This is what happens. And secretary to the cabinet knows this because he was deputy secretary to the cabinet under PF. And he's a very seasoned civil servant. You cannot just go and unilaterally remove people and take other people. The truth of the matter is that there was just an attempt to remove all the security officers. Because when there was that problem at President, uh, former President Ed Galungu's house, these officers were very professional. They did not allow access until they were told to do so by the ex-former president.